In this video I'm going to go over how to install FEEP on a Windows machine. So I have a Windows 7 uh, professional operating system, 64-bit, and I have Visual Studio 2010 and Intel XC 2011 Fortran installed. So the first thing you need is the zip file from the download site. So I have the zip file here and I'm going to go ahead and extract it. So go ahead and extract it to the directory that I'm in. I created this directory users sg install. So let me go ahead and extract that. And that is going to extract all the files. It'll take a few seconds here. Okay, so we have our extracted files. And it made another window for me. Okay, so inside this directory I've created here I have all of FEEP and we're going to build first a library and then we'll build the executable. And the easiest way to build a library is to copy all the files, the, the Fortran files, into a single directory. And there's a batch program that does that for you here. So, And they have these uh, XXX extenders. Change one to bat. So there are two of them. There's Win2Comp4 and Win2Comp8. I have a 64-bit machine, so I use Comp8. If you have a 32-bit machine, you'll use Win2Comp4. And go ahead and run this, and it creates a directory called Compile, and it basically copies everything over into this directory. Okay, so if we look, we see the directory Compile, and if we go into Compile, it has all the files for the program. Okay, so let's go ahead and start Visual Studio. Okay, and we're going to create a, we go up to File, New, let's see if I can operate the mouse, File, New, Project. And we're going to go ahead and create a static library. So we click Library, Static Library, and let's give it a name. We'll call it Lib84, and it's going to put it this is a good location, users sg install build, so it's all contained within the directory um, that I have install. Okay, so I'll click OK. Okay, now we're going to we'll build the release version. Debug doesn't work. There's an error in the uh, Intel compiler. And I have a 64-bit machine, so I'm going to change from Win32, and I'm going to go to X64. So it's 64, and now the next thing I need to do is add files to my project. So I'll go to Project, Add Existing Item, and let me go over to this directory, sg install version 84, compile, and oops, I did something bad there. I moved a file. So, okay. Well, so you'll notice I move the directory contact in there, which I don't want to have, but that's okay. I would go from a check all the way down to zz prod. I select all those and I add those files to my project. Okay, the files have been added to the project, and now what I'm going to do is set some properties. So I go into the properties tab, and then under Fortran. I'll go to the general setting and I'm going to adjust the include directories. So we'll go ahead and click edit and I'm going to add two include directories. So C colon users sg install. Now it's the directory where I put everything. Version 84 which is what it created and I'll do include and then users sg install version 84 include integer 8 and that's because I'm using 64-bit pointers so 8 bytes you, if you're on a 32-bit machine you'd say integer 4 there and we'll click OK and we'll click OK and now we're all set we can actually build the library it will now create lib84 for me if I go up to build and then click build solution Okay, so it is finished compiling all the files and now it's 
linking, link, linking them all together in a directory and we have zero errors and no warnings. So the build has succeeded and the path that it's used is what's listed over here in this window. So it's users sg install build lib84 lib84 and then there's some more subdirectories for the uh, configuration, the size of the machine and whether you want re release or debug. So they're all stored over there. Okay. So now what we're going to do is build the main program. We'll we'll go file project or file new project, and I'm going to create now a QuickWin application. So that's this guy up here, and let's go ahead and we'll name it Feep, and we'll let it go into the same build area that we had before. So let's just click OK, and now we have our new project. And let's go ahead and we're going to select release and we're going to make this a x64. It's important here to have this copy from settings win32 that keeps all the right quick win settings here so we'll just click OK. Click close. OK, now we'll go to project, add existing item. There's two items to add. One is the library that we just created and the other one is the main. So we'll go to, we'll go to our install. Now to get the library go into build lib84, lib84, x84, release, and we're going to change this to all files. Now we can see these are all the object files, and we're going to scroll down. Maybe we should have named it something that doesn't start with the letter L. There it is, lib84, we'll select it. And now that's part of our project, and now let's get the main. So again, project add existing item, and we're going to go back up to version 84. We'll go to main, and we'll get the main, FEEP 84. We'll add that. So there we go. We are all set up. Oh, now one last thing, we need to set the properties. Go Fortran general over, we need to set the include directories also, just like we did when we made the library. C colon users sg install version 84 include c users sg install version 84 Oops. include integer 8 again because I have a 64-bit machine okay now we're good to go and we can go up to build build solution and it compiled the main and now it's linking and we have a successful build as indicated down below here no errors no warnings and now we have an executable and it's located in the directory users sg install build feed feed and then the subdirectories so let, maybe we can we can go ahead and quit out of this and we'll just go ahead and have a look at what we have so if I go to install build feed go down again feep x84 release and here's my executable right there so having the executable in this directory is a little bit inconvenient so sometimes it's it's useful to move it around okay so having the executable down there is a little inconvenient so i'm going to go ahead and make a copy of it and i'm going to place it in the main okay so there i have it in the main and now we need an input file just to test it. So let me just go ahead and make an input file real quick. So cd into install version 84 main. And I'll use my favorite editor. I'll create a test file. So, oops. Just a two dimensional problem. Let's make a block. 10 by 10. And let's fix the right side of it, or the left side, let's say. Is that completely clamped? And let's just pull on it in the X direction. And we'll say the material is solid, elastic. Tropic, get some properties. So there's my mesh. And 
now I can go ahead and fire up FEEP, give it the file name, I test. So everything's good, it fills in automatically for me. So yes, and one annoying feature here is that the prompt is all the way down, so you have to scroll down there. So there's my prompt. Let's go ahead and solve the problem. It appears I got no load. Let's find out why. I didn't get any load on my system. Let's check the load. I spelled the command wrong. Okay, let's try it again. We'll scroll down. And I have a residual. Solve it again. Residual is 10 to the minus 14. So now we can go to the plot. And there's the x contours. Look good. Uh, contour in the two direction. A little pull in on the side. Do the Poisson ratio, but not too much. And there you go. Working version of the code.